after I've received Dick Chua's um, tattoo customized yellow boots, so I'm supposed to come up with four looks. Two looks for boys, two looks for girls using Timberland's Fall Winter Collection. And I'm excited to actually what Dick did um, the artwork onto the boots. And I think it's very unique and it's definitely the one and only in the world. As a fashion stylist, I personally like to explore different kind of um, styling and looks for myself. So the first look actually a more casual, more dressed down version. It's a bit of layering with long sleeve button up shirt overlaid with a navy shirt. I added a suede bucket hat and a beaded necklace. So a simple accessory like that can actually spice up the whole look. As for the girls, we together is a flannel plate shirts and just with a classic denim and a pair of boots and the inspiration is like a farmer's girl and back to nature and she's having fun under the sun and it's more carefree style and very light and easy styling for girls. A lot of people think that when it comes to winter, you wear a thick jacket and you can't see your fashion. My opinion is you can play with a lot of layering and um, different prints, different colours. The second look they actually put together for the girls is a leather jacket paired with a denim shirt and a sweatshirt inside and I'm inspired by the whole bike scene, the journey of a female biker and looking cool. The best part about a pair of boots is the more you wear it, the more season it became and the more personalised it becomes. And especially I really like when it's aged and it becomes very vintage looking. It adds a very rugged feel to it. It can be styled with almost any or everything these days and it still looks sexy and still look very rugged and trendy. What makes Timberland's yellow boots so iconic, I think is the design. It's a very, very simple boots design that everybody can relate to. It still remains at once of the most iconic boots ever. To me, boots has always been very sexy, whether it's on guy or a girl. Yes. Fashion styling job can be very glamorous. You get to meet celebrities, you know, dress them, talk to them, and hang out with the beautiful and the glamorous. But it can be just as unglamorous because we never show our sweaty self when ironing clothes, carry loads of clothing, all these small little things behind the scene that we never show on screen. My thinking process when I have to style someone is that I would need to study and really understand what is the client's vision and what kind of consumers they are trying to communicate to. If the consumers are not fashion conscious, I would need to take their daily lifestyle into account and see how I can offer my styling solution to make their daily styling more fashionable without a lot of effort. But if I am communicating to a fashion crowd with no limitations, I can pour my creative juices into doing something more that is why some fashion can be considered as art. Once you understand all that, the fun part is you'll be able to actually translate your vision into reality and that's the whole new level of satisfaction. 